Good morning, everyone. I'm out here in Andacombe today. Haven't been out here in probably at least a year. Last time I think I was out here, I showed you guys the school just down there. Looks like all the kids are out here because this is the only excitement of the day out here. Anyway, um, I just dropped off a couple guys out here. I'm heading over to Gama now to pick up coffee and then on to Garoka. So maybe I'll make this into a two-part video. But picking up four sick people here. Um, and then, yeah, Gama is like a 10-minute flight. Beautiful day out here. There's just tons of clouds once we get out of here on the way back to Garoka. So I'm hoping that they'll kind of clear up by the time I get there. Just don't have any issues getting back into Garoka. So I'm going to pack these guys up and weigh everybody up, take their temperatures, and get out of here. All right, let's go ahead and get started. There's on, fuel pump on. Make sure this is all back, low start. Get our fuel on here after over 14%. Taz system test okay. It's coming up at a nice rate. ITT jumped up pretty quick just because I shut down about 30 minutes ago. Generator on, prop forward, our V2 tracker on so our home base can follow along with us or where I'm going in case I have an emergency. All right, let's go ahead and pull up to the top before all my fuel drains off to my right tank. All stations and Nakombe, 1207. November Tango Kilo, texting and Nakombe for Gama. I don't see anybody on approach. I'd say this is probably the nicest I've been out here to Andacombe ever before. It's cut for the most part. And smooth. Moresby 6622 November Tango Kilo Taxi. Looks like it's a little bit soft right here. November Tango Kilo more speak ahead. November Tango Kilo Taxi and a combe game uh, six PLB. Copy Sierra Delta Papa, November Tango Kilo, November Tango Kilo, break Sierra Delta Papa, must be confirmed, copy November Tango Kilo. Affirmative, uh, Sierra Delta Papa, copy the November Tango Kilo. Sierra Delta Papa. And Sierra Delta Papa, November Tango Kilo will be departing and to come before Gama and we'll be tracking for the Marowaka Gap. Copy that, then uh, Sierra Delta Papa is now one five miles uh, to the north, uh, leaving uh, one 2,000 on descent. Very good time, 2-8, uh, and I'll look out for you. No, November Tango Kilo. All right, switches and instruments. Um, yeah, I guess we're only gonna go, probably go up to maybe 85, 8600, <laughs> just to get ourselves through the Marowaka Gap, just around the corner and then immediately right back down, like it's only like an 11 minute flight, so. All right, tremming aboard, we've got trim coming in where we want, we've got 20 degrees indicated and verified. And uh, we're gonna be airspeed alive by the beginning of the taxiway for sure. Um, if we need to abort, really, it's gonna be kind of at the beginning where the, everybody's standing. If I'm not showing indicated airspeed by that point, then I'm going to go ahead and remain on the runway. Full reverse, heavy braking. After takeoff, pitch 85, consider EPL, consider feather. Otherwise, cut off, pull off, shut off. 85, then 80 full flaps. Emergencies, masters, and crack my door. Tell these guys to brace. So, ignition, inlet, and lights. All right. Condition, condition, flaps 20, fuel and harnesses. 25 degrees at 3,400. Uh, 1400. Ignition condition flaps 20 fuel and harnesses. 1400, rotate 57. The left hand aileron, 1450. Air 
right now the paw is just about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my turn now, stay below all these clouds right here and just fly up the valley low. Sierra Delta, Sierra Delta Papa, November Tango Kilo just departed and um, will remain below 5,000 and 10 mile out of your way up towards Marwaka Gap. I copy that, sir. thanks very much. I'll let you know when we're past. I'll be looking out for you. All right, there's over 85, actually over 100. We'll go 10 degrees of flaps. He's probably coming in directly right above us. If this airplane had any good kind of terrain avoidance, then we could see him, but it doesn't, so we don't. Now let's go ahead and bring our prop on back as well. Okay, so, Marowaka Gap, just around the corner. Um, I'm just gonna throw my autopilot on just for a second, so I can quickly pull out my strip chart for Gamma. November, Tango Kilo, Sierra Papa, I've got you sighted. Uh, no conflict, we already had uh, in like 15 seconds. November, Tango Kilo, have a good day. You too. All right, heading out that way for the Marawaka Gap. It looks like game of 5300, the touchdown zone. Um, says it's a 12% slope. Actually goes all the way up to 17% slope at the steepest point. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start climbing out of here quickly. Because I, I gotta get all the way up to 8600 at the lowest. If I, if I make it through the Marawaka Gap, if I don't, then I have to go all up to 11,000 just to get over the ridges. With the way the clouds are sitting, that might even be potentially higher. I think that we will be able to fit through the Marawaka Gap, though, I'm thinking. All right, let's do our landing, igniters, and bypass off. We're going to be landing on runway 2. Is zero is just a one-way airstrip for Gamma. Oh, there we go. Now we're seeing him after he's passed us. <laughs> I wish you guys could smell this right now, but there's actually a volcanic uh, vent hole right over on one of these mountains over here, so it smells like rotten eggs right now. I think I've taken you... Actually, no, I did a video once up there, and the video got corrupted somehow, and I wasn't able to actually give it to you guys. Pretty cool, though. Morsby 6622, November Tango Kilo, departure. November Tango Kilo, Morsby, go ahead. November Tango Kilo departed Anacombe time at 27, tracking 001 on climb, not above 9000, estimating Gamma 38. November Tango Kilo, no additional report at traffic, Hurricane H1011. 1011, November Tango Kilo. More speed, uh, Sierra Delta Papa, circuit to Anacombe, call again after landing. Alright, so I've got a valley that I can actually see through right here, but I'm not sure if it takes me... Yes, I think it does take me over. I'm not 100% sure it takes me to the right valley though. But we're just going to continue on up to the Marawaka, it's only another couple miles up. I think I could go through there, though. Uh, yeah, actually, that is, that is right where we're going. Never mind, let's just go that way. <laughs> so that I can come up to this gap at a different angle. Give myself a lot more room and space. Actually, you know what? The one directly ahead of me looks a lot nicer. At least from this perspective. Uh, yeah, there's just a little bit more margin over here, but we'll just continue on straight ahead. If you guys want to pick up a pair of these sunglasses I'm wearing, I've got them in gold and silver, and they actually have glass lenses. They held, they've really held up really well. I've had them now for over a year and a half. Still, still look awesome. I've got them on my website. I run sales on them every once in a while as well, so make sure I get my tosses off. All stations on the compass here, the left is the overhead uh, joining left hand down with uh, 07. All right, wind's behind us. More and more on the other side, so I'm continuing with this. We're just three and a half minutes out. Selectors, brakes, tosses off. We'll get VRAP here in just a second. 
Once we're past this, rather than keeping my head down in here while we're just about ready to do a ridge crossing, better to keep my eyes up and out. All right, we need to go down to 6,300 feet now. Lots of five hundred to figure out how I'm going to get there. We're only seven miles. All stations, game at 1207, November Tango Kilo, seven miles to the south, 9,000 on descent. All stations, Gamma. Actually, Gamma is just right over this ridge. We'll just continue on and then kind of do a 180 descending turn to join into the circuit if it's open. If it's not, then we'll just head back on to Garoka. All right, our VREF. Our weight right now is 5,800, more or less, 57, something like that. So 66. It's a 7% slope, so we're just going to add one knot. So 67 knots for our VREF speed, our lights and inlets are done. If we have to go around, it's at the hill, last hill, power up 20 degrees, left hand turn out immediately. It's for 11 degrees. Moresby 6622, November, Tango, Kilo, in the circuit, Gamma, report after landing. November, Tango, Kilo. Oh. All stations, Gamma, 1207, November, Tango, Kilo, joining the circuit, Gamma. All right, let's go OBS, runway 200. Just with all these clouds, it just will help my situational awareness, because then I can see right on here where it is, if there's clouds at all, in the circuit, it'll just help me figure out exactly where it is and how I, where I need to be. All right, we'll go 10 degrees of flaps, prop forward. Oh, this is looking great over here, so that's good. Up and harness is done. We'll do SAR on the ground, and we'll do full flaps in the circuit. This is probably one of my favorite places, just because it's an easy place to come, but it's still really steep. You'll see, hopefully from the video, it's pretty steep, like once you land, it's only 7%, but then it gets into a 17% slope, and it's like a proper hill, like a 100 foot difference in just like, what is it, 500, 470 meters. So yeah, that's pretty significant. All right, that is looking completely open. That's great. I don't see the windsock moving yet. Need to lose another 1,700 feet before I'm at pattern altitude, so I'm just gonna come way out here kind of just do a nice smooth transitioning turn just to kill that passenger just to make it as smooth as possible as you can. But when we're on the ground, I'm going to be shooting this another quick short little video, really just kind of, of us, me packing up. Um, I'm probably only going to get maybe like 500 kgs or something like that of coffee out of here today, but it will help these guys because, uh, yeah, they don't get coffee out of here unless someone comes. Like the nearest road is probably like a, I don't know, probably a two-day hike. All right, we want 67, 77, and 87. So 87 on downwind, but 97 now. Looks like I'm just gonna have to revise the circuit a bit because where I'd normally fly overhead does not look like that's gonna work today. I'm gonna be 5,700 foot by this hill right here. That will line me up. Really nice descent profile in here. 20 degrees of flaps now. As the flaps go down, the nose comes up. So basically I just look at this little green circle and just kind of see where it is and then just keep pushing over just so I know that I'm not climbing at all. All right, got to position myself so I can get through the clouds on my downwind. All right, well, that looks good. I just don't want to get myself into a hole that I can't get back out of. This is a fairly tight little valley. So 57th there, so I want 6,000 over here. I've got 500 foot yet to go. Pull my power a bit more, push over a little bit more. That way my speed doesn't increase, but I'm still going down a little bit faster. There, there's pattern altitude now. These clouds aren't helping. I'll just extend out here and kind of make a wider um, really downwind of final. There's not really even a base on this one. 
All right, coming up on my 6,000. This is looking a lot better. 500. We're going to slow to 77 on our base to final. And 67 final. There's 6,000. This is looking a lot better now. Go full flaps now. Checklist is complete. 500. We're slowing to 66 knots. Right, three knots of headwind. Here's my 5,700 feet. Looking really nice. Going to 66, 67 knots. We'll land on the first cone in from the threshold. 500. All right, winds dropped off. 500 on the descent. Good. Not tailwind. Went up on five hundred. Not tailwind. A little bit of wind shear. We're committed. And then add some power on the way up the hill. Low idle. If you don't add power, you will stop. I'm just pushing as far forward on the yoke as I can. It's pretty undulating and I don't want to like pop my nose wheel off. All right, parking bay looks dry. enough so I can put my tail stand in because there's like a little hill back there. There we go, that looks good. Morsby 6622 November Tango Kilo on the ground, Gamma cancel SAR. November Tango Kilo, Gamma SAR exterminated. November Kilo. Like I said, we're going to pack up with coffee in the next video and get on to Garoka. Thanks again guys for watching and see you guys next time. Okay, man. Okay. Let me just get some more coffee.